Hi. Welcome to Canispader Christmas. In the last episode, I had mentioned that at the wedding, we had received some cool gifts, and I was going to show you, and I forgot to do that. So this is the first thing. It's a ring. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Um, little dog hair on it. Uh, and, oh, Lord. And you, you turn it on, and it, it flashes. So, can you see it now? Okay. So that was kind of cool. And then we got these things, which it's got a little switch on the end of it and the battery, and then this has just got a plug on it. And I don't know if you can see it. So that's pattern one, pattern two, and pattern number three. And so I was a little curious as to what's inside these things. I think we can pull the plug out. So it's just a little plug. So it's just a little circuit board and a battery. And it's got three LEDs in it. Anyway, I thought it was kind of cool. So this just has a little switch three batteries and little leds in it okay now you're up to speed so at christmas expo i got three of these and they are just pieces of coro from Biscoyo. these are the the chroma the 99 pixel version chroma canes i think they're the chroma canes uh, the 99 pixel version and so I was going to start putting pixels in them and then I went well how am I supposed to wire them up so this is how you wire them up but how did I know how to do that okay what you want to do is open up X lights and go to your layout tab now a couple things I want to show you here we have a candy cane model uh, that is a built-in model and then to get the Biscoyo model, just click this arrow and we should see a little pop up. There we go. Candy Cane, Chroma Cane 99, which is the one that we have, and I will insert this model. You can change the size of it by grabbing and holding on to these things. One of the thing that I was the things that I was curious about is if you could flip this model. And so I just tried dragging it like this, but you'll notice it it only goes halfway and doesn't flip over. One thing to note, in 23, 2018-23, uh, the, the built-in models have got a little reverse button here. So right now you see them going to the right. We'll click the reverse. Now they're going to the left. So this reverses the model, the built-in model. On the these are actually brought in as custom models so you don't see that reverse here but you can reverse it by going up to model data and clicking here and flip horizontal and hit OK and you'll notice now we're flipped uh, not a big deal you can flip the model any way you want to so now now that you have a model we still want to figure out how to wire this thing so right click and go to wiring view and this will bring up a page that shows you how to wire it. Now this is going to be looking from the back of the model. Notice it's pointing to the right now. So this is looking toward, from the back and this is how you wire it up. Number one is at the lower left. Two, three, four, on up and down. We zigzag around till we get up to the top and then come all the way back down.
And once you're done, you've checked all the lights, you can throw a piece of PVC or EMT in there. Uh, just, it's got several points along here for wire ties and it does give it some more rigidity and also gives you a way to mount it. So there you go. You may have noticed that I was straightening the wires out as I was putting them into the coro. I do that because if, for example, you know, hardly ever happens, but if you need to replace a pixel, it's a little easier to do it if the wires aren't all twisted up. So that's why I do that. Okay, that's about it. Anytime you need to add a new model to your display, check in with X-Lights first and make sure you know how to wire it up properly so that X-Lights will be able to put the patterns on it correctly. I hope that information helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs are